hello everybody how are you doing thank you so much for clicking on this video i hope you're fine and i hope you're being productive wherever you are my name is belinda oyubi for those who are meeting me for the first time if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to support my videos so on today's video we are in our kitchen and guess what guys i'm gonna show you how you can roast groundnuts i know even me i struggled so much to know how to roast groundnuts so it took me a while also to learn how to roast it but um, when i knew how to do it i think it's just something perfect for me i normally do it and i think it's just going to be a very simple way of doing it so stick around let's do it together and i hope you're gonna learn something so, so here we have our groundnuts it's ready i'd already removed the the tiny ones so the ones that is left here is now ready for roasting and then this is our pan this is the one we're gonna use so our pan is already clean here so we're just going to roast it on this on this using the gas because you can use gas you can use um a charcoal stove uh, that is jiko or you can still use um the kerosene stove so this is our groundnuts we just going to use uh, one ingredient which is which is salt we are just going to use this salt here and don't worry about my utensils they're just a few i've just been eating some rice and i was sleeping so <laughs> i woke up with hunger so this is our groundnuts we're going to put in some water for the first thing you're going to do so let's put some water i know some of you normally put in the pan first and then they add salt and water but for me you're just going to learn on how i normally do mine yes so when you're putting in water don't put in water to soak it completely like it, it's not supposed to start soaking as though you want to to boil it this water is just to help uh, because we want to put some salt so when putting salt oops sorry my salt fell down we are putting this water so that uh, the salt can get into the groundnuts i don't know whether you're getting me yeah like the salt should the groundnuts should taste so the gas it's not supposed to be a lot i've just put it full so that uh, the pan gets hot first but it's not supposed you're not supposed to use full full heat you're supposed to turn it down once the pan is hot i think our pan is getting hot because i think there's some background noise don't worry about the background noise because there's some construction going on somewhere behind here i think you can see some guys yeah it's construction going on behind there so you might hear some noise or some obstruction behind there so let's turn our fire down a little bit our pan has really gotten so hot guys so there we go so we are not going to put we are not going to put the groundnut together with the water we are only going to put the groundnut alone so go in about the quantity of salt just put in salt and then you taste the water so if the water is to your taste that is the taste you're supposed to have achieved so don't put too much salt because if the groundnut is over salted it will just be tasting fine and then don't put too little because it might taste that it might taste as if you haven't put any salt we're going to use this one so this one is going to take a while when you're starting you can put up the fire a little bit not too much but as it progresses because you have to we have to ensure the groundnut dries up so once it is dry you can reduce the heat just turn it slowly by slowly so the reason why i was saying you don't put uh, a lot of heat is because when you put a lot of heat 
it might start burning before it is ready and then also you put uh, you see this one this one is turning black so that's why i was saying don't put very like a lot of heat and then you keep turning it this one is, is this one going to so you keep turning it reason why you keep turning so that it doesn't literally turn black okay so let me check. so another thing normally when i do groundnuts I, I normally put some sand clean sand inside the groundnut so that your work is just to turn it you just hold and you keep turning like this yeah you just hold and you keep turning that way but being that we are in town it's not very easy for us to get a uh, clean sand so we just go directly into the pan with our salt uh, with our groundnuts which is slightly soaked in, in salty water so today is the first time I'm getting into the kitchen since I left the hostel. So because of that, I've just taken a stool and sat down. I've actually, I really feel comfortable because this doing this groundnut is going to take a while for it to come out really perfect. So I don't want to just do some shoddy work here. That's why I've opted to bring a stool and have a seat. <laughs> so you could also do the same. You bring something, you have a seat, and my kitchen is very small. You see how my kitchen is very small? This is one wall, and this is another one. I can hold it from this other end. So I'm just seated down and just doing my groundnuts. So normally I do my groundnuts uh, very early in the morning, especially when I want to take, uh, especially when I want to take bread. That's when I normally do my groundnuts, very early in the morning. Or it can also become, it can also act as my evening snack. So like right now, it's, it's in the evening. I'm doing this in the evening because I normally do my groundnuts in the evening so that I can have a good time uh, eating my groundnuts as I eat for supper or as I wash, or as I wash or as I just relax or maybe for evening tea. I normally prefer groundnuts. It's, it goes really a long way for me. So that's why I'm opting to do my groundnuts in the evening. So as you can see, it's, it's, it's uh, what do you say? It's um, slowly drying. You can see. Let me show you. Let's see. Yeah, it's drying so as it dries let me adjust that yeah so as it dries it now starts to get ready so how do you know when it's ready actually it starts giving you that good smell you just start feeling the the aroma i think it's called aroma not smell yeah you'll start having the aroma of uh, really good aroma of groundnuts yeah so that's when you know it's getting ready but for me i'll feel the aroma and i'll still taste <laughs> to ensure that i'm having something legit for me or maybe for the family or even if i have visitors i'll just have to make sure i'm having something legit because i also, I also love legit food i love to eat really good food food that has been cooked well so sometimes i'm defeated to eat especially when the food is not well cooked so yeah that's why i have to do it really really well yeah and guys guess what this one is working really well i don't know if you can differentiate between the the sound this one gives and the sound the other one used to give so for this I feel it really works well and I didn't realize last time that uh, I don't know why this gas keeps going off. Let me put it on again. It's because I've really put low fire, low heat. I mean. Yeah, last time I didn't realize because I'd uh, downloaded the what, what do you call it? the open camera and i really didn't know if the open camera my camera could really really work so well for me and i realized that when i use the selfie like right now i'm using my phone 
like the camera is i'm using the front the selfie camera and it's really working so well this this gas is really irritating me because i'm putting it on it's going off i put very low heat actually that's why it's behaving that way but you really don't have to worry about about it because we are not even worried anyway i was saying the open camera when it flips and i use the the selfie the selfie camera it really goes well because it doesn't it doesn't mirror it doesn't mirror the reflection it just brings me out like this one is my left hand and when i watch it it's truly my left hand yeah like and like the other time when i was using the phone camera it was it was doing there it was mirroring it so that uh, the other time i was putting on a t-shirt written nike just do it so the nike was coming like it's mirrored but the moment i started using the open camera it was just written like and i love that so much yeah so it worked it really worked so if you haven't watched that video guys go and check on that video it's just an amazing video it's very informative go and check on the video watch it and uh, kindly guys subscribe to my channel let's hit a thousand subscribers as we prepare our journal as we wrote our journal so i want to show you how it's doing so at least you'll start uh, hearing a blasting sound I, I don't know if you can hear a blasting sound but uh, let me show you how far we've gone this is how far we've gone this is how far we've gone but at least somehow it will start uh, turning black maybe because the heat is a lot man the heat is very high and my pan is very light you see my pan is very light so if the heat, if the heat goes so high you turn down you turn off the fire and then you turn it on again so if you're using a jiko how are you going to turn down the fire you just close the door of the jiko yes and if you're using a, a kerosene stove you also turn down the, the by you do it on down the, the heat yeah so this is how it's working at least it's turning somehow black but that is no cause of alarm because the fire was high and at least it will somehow turn but let me tell you something if you're using this method it will actually turn somehow black but if you are using the sand if you are using the clean sand whereby you only turn it this way it couldn't turn black a bit like it it couldn't turn black completely yeah because it will just it will just be roasting in the hot sand i hope you understand that like it's just the same as it wouldn't it wouldn't turn black because um like it's just the same concept we, we use when baking when you don't have an oven you put uh, sand and then you put the sphere with the content in onto the sand and then you cover but now for this one you're going to be using the sand for groundnuts you just literally put this the groundnuts in so you'll have to be sure that when you do this the groundnuts will will come up so we are almost there you can see it's turning we are almost there so you have to do this until the groundnuts dry completely and my groundnuts are here i can feel them right let me show you let me show you okay i tell you i can package this and sell so if you want to buy <laughs> Ooh, that's it and there's water to taste uh -huh. mm. wow so if you're feeling as if it has not dried completely but at least when you're testing it has you feel that it has um it is fully cooked you just turn off the fire because the pan is hot it will continue cooking like it will continue drying so by the time the groundnut is has cooled down completely it will dry because uh, uh, well 
as you cook you can hear the blasting sound like pop 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 what does that mean it means that it's drying and uh, it, when it cools down you can easily do this what do you call that do this yeah to remove this one yeah but for now still i cannot remove but i don't see why you should remove it anyway i normally don't remove that the covers of groundnuts when i eat them i just eat everything <laughs> I love it that way anyway. So you, you tell me why you normally remove the cover, but I normally don't remove the cover because I feel it's also it also aids in my digestion according to my biology class. <coughs> so I normally don't remove. So my groundnut is ready. My groundnut is ready. And get ready for the end product. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, you can't be ready for this. So let me show you how it is now. Let me first turn down off the fire. Let me turn down off the fire. But this one has really crushed me. Guys, I need to change um I need to change my I need to change my pan because this pan is very light. It it turns the groundnuts to be black, and I really don't like black groundnuts. But trust me, if you use the same process, it will just really turn out to be very good. So let me show you the end product of my groundnuts. I can't flip it, so I'll just have to turn off first and then flip it. So you see how it looks like somehow it's it's dark it's black black and this is what i really don't like like this one see this one i really don't like it turning black being this one being the black ones taste bitter so when it turns black it's somehow bitter but uh if i was using a very heavy pan i could just put a little heat and then Will be good to work. Actually, it's, it's really nice. It's just so good. Yeah. So our groundnuts are ready, ready for serving. It's very hot, but very good. Very very good. Look at it. Like I was saying, it's very black, but it's not very black. Just a few are black. But if I was using a heavier pan, I could really achieve very good groundnut. Very good. So because it's evening, I'm just going to prepare tea. But for today, I will home. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I will eat all the groundnuts before it's done. So for today, I was just showing you how you can really make good groundnuts using just one ingredient like the groundnuts and then the ingredient is what is just salt and here we've achieved it. it's really awesome so thank you so much for watching welcome if you are closer <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching if you're watching this video guys and you haven't subscribed to my channel we are on a road to a thousand subscribers kindly go subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so that each and every time i upload a new video you will be the very first person to be notified so until we meet again in the next video i can see here someone is knocking on head so let me go and check so until we meet again in the next video bye bye